Right then, lads. Uh, me and Joe, we've watched a couple of videos back, and the style he's picked up on is exactly the same as mine. And he tends that he's copied it. He's tried different styles, different bands that are centre of the ball might want to shot. And um, he's tried over the top, through the four, um, gangster side old. And this is without doubt the best for him. He's eating bull's eyes of it. So we're going to watch him now for a couple of minutes. And what well, we're going to get from there, really, bull's eye again, mate, get it. Pick up on what he's doing right, what he's doing wrong. He's only just started shooting this style, to be honest, but uh, he is spot on. Bullseye again. One thing I did pick him up on just was um, he was holding for probably four or five seconds before he released the shot. And in my opinion, even though some people do like to hold for long, if you start aiming for more than two or three seconds, you start thinking too much and you start cocking the shot up. Well, I do when I'm like most comfortable. Yeah, yeah, I mean? yeah you got to be comfortable with that, don't you? You do what's best for you. But I think if you hold for too long, it's you think too much. So you let it go quicker now, more fluent and natural, and you hit in the ball. And I hope these videos a few can learn from because well, that's why we're doing them. It's nice to watch somebody shooting and talk over them. So you what is you put in the dim straight on the target, mate? Yeah. yeah. Bullseye again. That uh, dim on the target is is what you need to do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But um, your anchor point, if your anchor point's probably one centimetre difference, that's as important. Well, it'll have the same difference as your dimp being one centimetre off the ball. You get me? Bullseye. If your anchor point's one centimetre from where you're used to, yeah? Or where yeah. you're shooting at. That's one centimetre difference from about less than a metre drawing, if you know what I mean. So in theory, at ten metres, that would throw it ten centimetres off. Which... You know, could make you miss the paper. The same anchor point is exactly the same as having the same reference points. Once you got them both banged on and your paper really right, it's, it's, it's as simple as that. A lot of people at first will put the, the uh, dimps on the target and they'll put one in the bowl, one ten centimetre above, one three centimetre to the right and think, what the fuck's going on? I'll put the dimp on the target, but that anchor point being slightly off or not the same every shot is what will cause the shots to be off. Shot. There's a lot to do with shooting and that and consistency and there's a lot more than people think. First of all, comfortable is what you want. Well, as you can see, Joe's style now is pocket. It's just a matter of working on it. I reckon six months, mate, you'll be competing at the top. Another, another six months of practice. Stick to exactly what you're doing now, no difference in anything. So I mean, you went far off at all, mate. But then you hit the string behind it. <laughs> Come on, put this one for the ball then, mate. We'll call it a day. Get in. <laughs> Shot, lad. <laughs> 